guys, welcome back. I'm Connie. And I'm Denise. And, and we're, we're the Garvino, Garvino family. family. Tell him your yes. name. What's your name? He's playing shy. That's <laughs> Alex. <laughs> so today we're going to be making keto haystacks and pecan balls. balls. Or so let's get started, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to start on the keto haystacks. And right now I'm going to put in one cup of the peanut butter, and it's all natural peanut butter. And these are keto, guys. You can make them with regular if you'd like. That's up to you. It's kind of hard to get this peanut butter out, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> yes, it's so hard to get it out of the container. <laughs> okay, guys, and now we're going to put two tablespoons of cocoa. Unsweetened cocoa. Unsweetened, yes. First, you gotta mix that in real well, though. You gotta incorporate that. All that peanut butter down here. After each one of them, basically, you wanna mix because you don't want it to get hard. Okay, and we're gonna put two tablespoons of melted butter. Hopefully, she don't knock it off the table. <laughs> okay. I might, just in case. I'll make sure to catch it. Oh, see? Wow. I almost we dropped all, it. We all know what a mess maker party is, so. <laughs> Y'all are learning that. Y'all jinxed me by telling me I'm going to drop it, and I almost <laughs> did. <laughs> okay. Now that's mixed all well like that, we're going to add three tablespoons of sweetener. You can use regular sugar, or you can use Splenda, and we're using Splenda. Because it says... You know, we're using Splenda. You could use Erythrol, you could use, use Swerve, you could use whichever one you prefer. But we use Splenda here mainly because Swerve ends up sometimes having that little bitter kind of taste if you put too much in it. Or, yeah, or uh, Sweet and Low. Yeah, Sweet and Low and Equal, those, we don't use Sweet and Low and Equal, those are pretty nasty to us. And you want to use, I mean, you could use crunchy peanut butter, but we like the creamy because it gives it a different texture. Um, it's more smooth than the crunchy. So if people like the crunchy in it, you could do that also. We're gonna end up making, we're gonna be putting in two thirds cup of unsweetened cocoa. Coconut. I was like, it's not cocoa. Cocoa nut. And this is gonna give you the texture instead of using like the lo mein, chow mein things you want that the regular haystacks are, these are going to give you that little bit of a texture to it. And this is refined. We tend to refine coconut. Okay, we're almost done. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now we're just going to, since it's all mixed up, we're going to put them on a cookie sheet. And you can use a melon ball or you could use just like little haystacks. They're supposed to look like a little haystacks on those. And they don't have to be perfectly round, like she said. They're little haystacks, so. Yeah. Of course, they'll look different with everybody and how they do them. Okay, so we'll be right back, guys, as soon as she gets done making this messy tray here. And then we're going to stick them in the refrigerator for, you can put them in the refrigerator or the freezer for 30 minutes. We'll be right back, guys. Okay. Okay, these guys, these are done now. I'm getting them off so we can just put them in here. They, and they melt really fast, guys. So you want to hurry up so we can so get you them back to, in the freezer. And you want to keep them in the uh, in the freezer when you're not eating them. With it being uh, unsweetened cocoa and everything like that, it's just mainly peanut butter and unsweetened cocoa. You want to keep them in there like that. All right, now these ones here, she's going to dip in some Lily's semi-sweet sugar-free chocolate but uh, she's gonna kind of like dip it around in there some and this will this will just kind of give it like extra little chocolate flavor a couple more here to go yes we have a parrot in the house <laughs> we always have a parrot yeah can't get away with saying anything, and I mean anything at all with Alex. Excuse me, Nana. Excuse, thank you for saying excuse me. She's 
it's almost done. And then we're going to get out our fudge out of the refrigerator here. Don't forget, guys, when you put this chocolate, or basically any chocolate, you try to dip things in. You want to put it in the microwave for just a few second intervals. And then you want to take it out and put a little bit of vegetable oil or we use olive oil, of course. You can use avocado oil, whatever kind you would like to, just to kind of make it smoother. So, so, so they're not really, they're kind of soft now. But I'll kind of use that spoon and just break off a piece of this. Of course, she's got to make it. You gotta get harder, of course, because yeah. it's softened already. Yeah, with, especially with the chocolate. Can I try? Can mm. I try? Tastes better with the chocolate. <laughs> Tastes yeah. really good. Can I try? You wanna try it? Okay. No, I didn't do it. Alright, guys, we'll be right back with the, oh, the fudge. Let me go get that, we'll be right back. Yeah. Okay guys, we're back and now we're getting out. We just got, it's only been in there for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half in the refrigerator. The fudge brownies, one of fudge brownies. So I'm gonna take it out just so that way Connie can show you when she's cutting it, how it looks. And then we're gonna cut it and we're gonna stick it back in the refrigerator for longer. It's, it's still kind of soft, but not yet too soft. These are so good too. She's okay. She's cutting them here. This is Connie's size because anybody who who likes fudge, you know, and knows fudge, you'll know how fudgy these things are. But you know, with everything, like Connie likes big old bites. Big old bites. The bites. Hmm. Very good. Real tasty. She just got it. Now she's gonna try this. It's good. It's good, real good. You can see the inside of it. How it's still like she said, still a little soft. But we wanted to take it out and show you, like, that it's real good. It tastes real good. Pick it up and show them the inside. Look at that. That is just, it's delicious. It's quick and easy. You cut them really about half the size Connie cut here at little squares. And then you can put them in a tin, give away for Christmas, for New Year's, water. take them to a holiday party. But this is water, really, water, really water, good, water, 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 water. as you can see. Water. It's delicious. Okay, guys, we are finished. That's the end of today's vlog. So, guys, remember, please don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. Open air. And if you like us, give us a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Thanks for watching, y'all. This is the Garvinos. Bye. Bye.